Well, guys, boy, Mr. Dan Tamarie Mellie, listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Dubai for Monday, August 2nd, 2021, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash entertainment report with Ray Mello, that's R-E-Y-M-E-L-O, on Twitter at the Enter Report, or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. I hope everyone had a fantastic weekend. Oscar-winning actor Tom Hanks is set to play a small role in writer-director Wes Anderson's next as-of-yet untitled film. Expected to shoot in Spain, the movie will also feature Anderson regulars Adrian Brody, Bill Murray, and Tilda Swinton. No details about the plot have been disclosed. Anderson's next film, The French Dispatch, is set to be released on October 22nd. Co-stars Brody, uh, Murray, Swinton, Francis McDormand, Timothy Chamolet, Elizabeth Moss, Willem Dafoe, and Jeffrey Wright. Anderson's other works also include Isle of Dogs, The Grand Budapest Hotel, The Jerengy Limited, The Royal Tenenbaums, and Rushmore, Apollo 13, Forrest Gump, Philadelphia and Sleepless in Seattle actor Hanks starred in last year's News of the World and Greyhound. It will soon be seen in Finch on Apple TV+. The theatrical release of the family adventure Clifford the Big Red Dog is being postponed out of concerns regarding a new Delta variant of the coronavirus. The movie is scheduled uh, in having a world premiere screening at the Toronto International Film Festival. It was expected to open in North American theater September 17th, but Paramount Pictures is looking for a new date since COVID-19 cases are again on the rise and might keep parents and children from heading to the multiplex. The live-action and animation hybrid adaptation for Norman Bridwell's children's book stars Darby Camp, Jack Whitehall, John Cleese, Rosie Perez, Siobhan Fallon Hogan, and Tony Hale. David Allen Greer lends his voice to the titular 25-foot tall pup. Most U.S. and can Canadian cinemas closed temporarily, then reopened with strict safety measures in place in recent months. But attendance at screenings have not yet returned to the pre-pandemic levels. Many studios, such as Disney and Warner Brothers, have opted to release their films on both streaming platforms and in theaters to give them the, the widest audience possible. Evil icon Bruce Campbell has joined the season forecast of the sitcom AP Bio. The show's Twitter feed said Friday, along with the link to a report on the casting news, High Class meets the first Mr. Griffin. Campbell will play John Griffin, who tries to reunite with his estranged son, the high school set workplace comedy's main character, Jack Griffin, played by Glenn Howerton. Peacock picked up the series uh, for seasons three and four after NBC canceled it. The show includes Patton Oswalt, Mary Sean, Lyric Lewis, Jean Villepieu, and Paula Pell. In addition to the Evil Dead film franchise, Campbell has starred in the TV shows Ash vs. Evil Dead, Fargo, and Lodge 49. Hulu has renewed Love, Victor, starring Michael Camino in the title role for a third season. The official Twitter account for the show said on Friday, alongside a video featuring key moments from the series, you didn't think we'd leave you hanging, did you? Hashtag Love Victor is returning for season three. The renewal comes after Love Victor season two premiered on Hulu in June. Love Victor is a spinoff of the film Love Simon and follows new character Victor Salazar, played by Camino, who hails from a Puerto Rican and Colombian American family and comes out gay. The show explores how Victor discovers what being gay means to him and how it affects his relationship with his family. Co stars include Rachel Hilson, Anthony Tapel. B.B. Wood, Mason Gooding, James Martinez, and Ana Ortiz. Better Call Saul actor Bob Olenkirk announced on Twitter that he is recovering from a small heart attack. The 58-year-old actor collapsed earlier this week on the show's New Mexico set. Olenkirk tweeted Friday, Hi, it's Bob. Thank you to my family and friends who have surrounded me this week and for the outpouring of love from everyone who expressed concern and care for me. It's overwhelming, but I feel the love and it means so much. Um, he added, I had a small heart attack, but I'm going to be okay thanks to Rosa Estrada and the doctors who knew how to fix the blockage without surgery. Also, AMC and Sony's support and help throughout this has been next level. I'm going to take a beat to recover, but I'll be back soon. Better Call Saul is now shooting its sixth and final season and is a, se is a prequel to the series AMC's Breaking Bad. In addition to those two shows, Olman Kirk is known for his roles in Nobody, Nebraska, and Mr. Show. 
MTV turned 40 on Sunday. To celebrate the milestone, a large-scale moon person inspired by a 2021 special edition moon person designed by American artist Kenny Wheely uh, was unveiled at the Kennedy Space Center uh, Visitors Complex in Florida. News release said since MTV first launched at 12.01 a.m. on August 1st, 1981 and debuted the footage of NASA's Apollo 11 mission, the moon person has symbolized the brand spirit of adventure and foray into new worlds. Uh, Wiley it reimagined the iconic moon person for MTV's 40th anniversary, and the special award will be given to the winners of the 2021 MTV VMAs. A large-scale MTV moon person that will uh, live at Kenny Center uh, Visitor Complex is inspired by this design. Wiley is the first African-American artist to paint an official portrait of a U.S. president, uh, former President Barack Obama. MTV started out as a channel that showed round-the-clock music videos with blocks hosted by video jockeys or VJs. Channel later morphed into Destinations for Reality series, game shows, and scripted young adult dramas. It also handed out annual music films and TV awards and televised broadcast producing known as The Moon Man, now known as The Moon Person. Uh, several former MTV VJs, including Mark Goodman, Nina Blackwood, and Alan Hunter, host programs on Cyrus XM's 80s uh, Palm Music channel. Another MTV alum, Kennedy, is now Fox Business, Fox News personality. Kanye West is planning a second listening party for his new album, Donna, in Atlanta on Thursday night. Live Nation said Friday the event is once again to take place at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Uh, tickets will cost between $30 and $75 and will be available for purchase starting Monday at Ticketmasters. West unveiled his Temp Studio album, last week and stayed at the stadium. Rapper The Baby was dropped from Sunday's lineup for the Lollapalooza Music Festival in Chicago. Um, the event's Twitter feed said Lollapalooza was founded on diversity, inclusivity, respect, and love. With that in mind, The Baby will no longer be performing at Grant Park tonight. Young Club will now perform at 9 p.m. on the Bud Light Seltzer stage, and G. Hebro will perform at 4 p.m. on the T-Mobile stage. The baby has been under attack online detractors all week for remarks he made about HIV AIDS and the LGBT, uh, LGBTQ plus people about his recent re uh, rolling loud performance. He responded to the backlash on Twitter last Tuesday. Uh, he says anybody who has uh, done ever been affected by AIDS, HIV, you have got the right to... I've got the right to be upset. Uh, what I said was insensitive, even though I have no intentions on offending anybody. So my apologies, but the LGBT community, I ain't tripping on y'all. Do you? Y'all business is y'all business. He was still dropped as a brand ambassador for Boohoo Man Clothing. He was cut from the bill of a benefit concert for the Working Families Party. My Osiris Foo Fighters, Post Malone, Tyler, the Creator, the Baby, uh, Megan Thee Stallion, Journey. Uh, were among the stars that performed the Loud Palooza over the weekend. And it was live streamed on Hulu. Singer songwriter Alicia Keys is celebrating the 11th anniversary of her wedding to hip hop star Swiss Beats. Um, Keys wrote in an Instagram post Saturday alongside a photo of her and Beats, who's 42, Soulmates, Deeper Than Soulmates, Twin Flames, and Is Essential Earthquake. My, mirror, my soul mirrors, all these are good, but still not strong enough to describe our precious, precious love. Happy anniversary, my love. Um, it's just getting better. I celebrate honor and deeply respect us. Here's to many, 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 many more. Keys later posted videos of highlights from their relationships, showing them laughing, dancing, drinking wine, swimming, cuddling on the couch, and kayaking. She wrote in the post, Anniversary Vibes, Real Love Zone. The couple tied the night in 2010 and have two sons, 11-year-old Egypt and 6-year-old Genesis. Lay rapper Pop Smoke's Faith is the number one album in the United States this weekend. Coming in number two on the Billboard 200 charts dated Saturday is John Mayer's Sob Rock, followed by Olivia Rodrigo's Sour at number three, Doja Cat's Planet Her at number four, and Morgan Wallen's Dangerous, the double album at number five. Running up the top tier are Little Baby and Little Dirk, the voice of the heroes at number six, Polo G's Hall of Fame at number seven, Dua Lipa's Future Nostalgia at number eight, Pop Smoke's Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Moon at number nine, and Bull Durham's uh, Burnham's Inside the Songs at number ten. Pop Smoke, whose real name was Bashar Barak Jackson, was uh, shot and killed during a home invasion in February 2020. He 
It would have been 22 on July 20th, 2021. F. Folly, the Dwayne Johnson, Emily Blunt adventure, Jungle Cruise is the number one movie in North America, earning $34 million in receipts. Box Office Mojo announced on Sunday. Coming in number two is The Green Knight with $6.8 million, followed by Old at number three with $6.7 million. Black Widow at number four with $6.5 million. Uh, and Stillwater number five with $5.1 million. Rounding up the top tier are Space Jam and New Legacy at number six with $4.3 million. Snake Eyes at number seven with $4 million. F9 at number eight with $2.7 million. Escape Room Tournament of Champions at number nine with $2.2 million. And The Boss Baby, Family Business, number 10, with $1.3 million. Many of the films, including Jungle Cruise, are also available on streaming and pay-per-view platforms as a means to reach as many viewers as possible during the coronavirus pandemic. This weekend's uh, theatrical top 10 grossed of about $73 million in the United States and Canada, while last week's top 10 scored about $67 million when Old was the number one movie. And that is the entertainment report for Monday, August 2nd, 2021. I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Facebook.com slash the entertainment report with Ray Mello. That's R E Y M E L O. On Twitter at the enter report or on Instagram at the entertainment report. You'll listen to this episode or any previous episodes of the entertainment report anytime you want. On iHeartRadio, just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Good night, and God bless you all.